What is art? Is it an elitist thing, separated from everyday life? Does it only belong in museums or auction houses? Or is art part of everyday life accessible to anyone? The answer to this question takes us on a transformational journey through time. In the Renaissance, art served a number of functions. It wasn't just made for aesthetic purposes, but through a change in location or frame, its status could change. For example, an altarpiece in a church soon turns into a work of art once it's put into a museum or a collection in a palace. Putting something in a frame can also make it into a precious object. The things we used to eat on can become works of art like this Chinese porcelain, which was framed in gold and placed on display in the home. Even old rubble turns into classical statuary once added to a Renaissance collection. In other cases, art results from the chance to show off a king's legs and becomes an example of great portraiture. These transformations continue well into the 20th century and give us some of the most esoteric works of modern art. The grid-like compositions of Piet Mondrian might seem to be one of the most austere examples. In painting after painting, he played around with the endless potential combinations of white and primary colours bounded by black lines. This distinct signature style was transformed after Mondrian moved to New York during the Second World War. His discovery of swing music and the grid system in Manhattan had a direct impact upon his work. But Marcel Duchamp was even more radical. He signed a urinal R. Mutt and then submitted it to an exhibition. What he would later term as a ready-made opened the floodgates for a whole range of objects from the everyday world to become art once they were exhibited. This anti-art tradition continues right up to the present. Damien Hirst's shark, preserved in formaldehyde, is a fun example of contemporary sculpture. Yet, would he have ever conceived of such a work in the early 90s unless he had been scared senseless by the film Jaws as a kid in the 70s? More recently, in a nod to Duchamp, the artist Banksy has been pivotal in bringing graffiti into the gallery space and raising its status as art. His Girl with Balloons started out as a piece of graffiti on a set of stairs and has now been transformed into exquisitely framed prints that sell for a fortune. And when one of these prints started to shred itself at an expensive auction, its new owner kept it anyway. He knew that what he had paid for it was a mere snip now that it was the object of such an art world stunt. So, what is art? Art is the building that you live or work in. It's the graffiti on your local street, the blue and white china bowl on your shelf. Art is the world around you, and to understand this world, you need art history.